Hello folks, I've been taking pictures of comets for the last 10 years. I took various types of comets, the ones that are bright, ones that have long tails, but nothing compared to what's happening right now. A massive interstellar comet named 3A Atlas, it's racing through our solar system. It's traveling about 210,000 kilometers per hour. That's nearly 60 times faster and the speed that you need to break free from Earth's gravity. Unlike the one I O Mua Mua, we spotted this comet the time when it is entering the solar system. That means now we have a front row seat to watch this comet, which came from another solar system. Let me give you a sense of scale. To leave Earth's gravity, you need to travel about 11 kilometers per second. That is called escape velocity. Our fastest rockets like NASA's New Horizons probe topped around 16 kilometers when it left the Earth. Now compare that to Atlas. It's moving at 58 kilometers per second right now. That's faster than the planet Mercury, which is the fastest planet in our solar system, orbits around the sun. In other words, Atlas is a cosmic bullet, untouchable, unstoppable, and it is just passing our solar system. What makes the Atlas even stranger is the path it is taking. It is on a retrograde orbit, tilted about 175 degrees against the flow of the planets. That means while all the planets orbit one way around the sun, Atlas is slicing through the opposite direction, almost perfectly aligned to the plane of the solar system, but going against the traffic. The orbit is a coincidence so rare that some of the scientists are wondering, is it just a luck or some object nudged nudge this planet into this path? Maybe a star, maybe something else. Let's talk about its size. The nucleus, the solid heart of the comet, is still a mystery, but Hubble telescope measured it somewhere in the vicinity of 5.6 kilometers. What's truly staggering is the coma of this comet. It's a glowing envelope, you know, the gas and dust around the nucleus. The visible light, the coma is about 25,000 kilometers across. When we see that using the infrared with the James Webb telescope and other like Spear X and other instruments, we see something bigger. The carbon dioxide, the CO2 coma is 700,000 kilometers across. It's nearly twice the distance from Earth to the moon. It's tempting for me to say it's a half the size of the sun. But sun is dense, sun is fairy. The coma is a thin gas. Right? So, technically, even though it is half the size of sun, it is the gas that is around the nucleus is that big. Why is this atlas so enormous? The answer is chemistry. Most comets that we see and the, the ones that I pictured, they're all water ice dominated. They release vapor, water vapor, as they get closer to the sun. But atlas is different. The James Webb telescope showed that Atlas has extremely high carbon dioxide ratio, about eight parts of CO2 for every part of H2O, water. So when carbon dioxide sublimates, meaning it turns the solid ice into gas at much lower temperatures than water, meaning Atlas is still far out beyond Jupiter and it is already releasing gas, inflating the coma and making the size monstrous. In other words, this comet doesn't need to be close to the sun to shine, to become big. This tells something profound. 3i Atlas isn't just another comet. It's a fossil from another star, another solar system. Its chemistry is rich in carbon dioxide, the CO2, carbon monoxide. And it suggests that it is formed in a place much colder and richer in those ices than our solar system nursery. Those ices have been locked away billions of years on this comet, and this is traveling through the frozen darkness of the interstellar space. Now for the first time, the sunlight is touching it, and those ancient gases are escaping. It's like opening a time capsule from another star system, billions of years old, one that formed long before Earth, long before Sun. 
you might be wondering how do we even measure this comet that faint and this far away we are using the biggest tools that we have right now the grand telescope yo canaris it measured the visible coma uh, 25000 kilometers the james webb telescope the sphere x it detected the co2 halo around 700000 kilometers remember this is only the third interstellar object we have ever seen in 2017 o muva muva one eye strange elongated and mysterious but no visible coma it is also called as black comet 2019 two eye borisov it came through much smaller comet maybe looking more of a traditional comet and now in 2025 we are seeing three eye atlas three interstellar atlas faster larger chemically stranger than both the other comets if oumuamua was a riddle borisov was a clue atlas is a full on textbook except the pages are written in alien eyes so when will we see it on october 3rd 2025 atlas is going to pass the mars at 0.19 astronomical units october 29 it will reach the perihelion its closest point to the sun which is 1.36 astronomical units on december 19th it will make it closest approach to the earth passing at 1.8 au safely distant for our telescopes to keep watching so no it's not a threat for us but it's an incredible opportunity to study this comet what does this all mean to us why does why does this matter to us because every interstellar visitor carries with it the history of another star system by studying the gases that are escaping from atlas we can figure out how our planetary system evolved we can test our models of our comet chemistry we can compare whether we are unique or our other star systems make some kind of building blocks of life this is the science at the best exciting moment not just the numbers on a page but a direct message from a galaxy and beyond it's not a just a comet it's a cosmic messenger carrying with billions of history frozen ices from another star system and a story that we are just beginning to read as someone who has spent a decade like me photographing the comets i can tell you this for sure this one feels different every time i point my telescope at it i know i'm not just capturing another icy rock i'm photographing a traveler from beyond the stars and soon it will be gone forever slipping back into the interstellar space so the question is what will we learn before it leaves us behind if you like this video uh, please subscribe and uh, click on the like button thank you clear skies